Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs. This is my ministry, and I am not your typical minister. I'm going to talk about the good, I'm going to talk about the bad, I'm going to talk about the ugly. Listen, shout out to 7,200, 7,200 subscribers. Shout out. To me, that's accomplishment. Thank to each and every one that took the time to subscribe to the Real Brian Glaze Gibbs YouTube channel. Like I said, at one point in time, my last page, I got up to 64,500 subscribers. I, the Real Brian Glaze Gibbs, not being tech savvy, accidentally removed my permission and I lost asset to that channel. So what I'm doing now, starting all over. Bingo. So like I said, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Hey, you know what? Like I say right now, folks, listen. Today, what I'm talking about is this, man. Boozy badass, man. To me, that guy, you know what I'm saying right now? I don't like to slander people. So I'm going to say, but I mean just the opposite. You know what? I, you know, like right now, that guy's the smartest person in the whole white world. You know, I, I watch him and listen as he's going blad and some of the stuff that he's talking about. It's like right now, like, okay, I understand the passion in his voice, but right now was some of the stuff that you talk about make you feel, where this guy's from? They say he's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Man, you sure that cat ain't from Jupiter, Mars, Venus? Because right now that dude is loony, man. The stuff that he's talking about right now don't make no damn sense. But yet and still, the way he's talking about it, he really believed the word that coming out of his mouth. And to me, I don't get it. Like I said right now, guess what, folks? Here it is. When you talk about, you know, when you out there and you pick up the brick, throw it at that prison wall, committing crime, guess what's going to happen? you going to jail. When you out there robbing, stealing, killing, selling drugs, whatever illegal activity that you're doing. Right now, when you out there in the land and you not doing it the right the first time, guess what? you going to jail. So nobody taking nobody away from their kids. Nobody taking them, nobody away from their family. When you out there doing dumb, stupid things, you're taking yourself away from your family. And what he's talking about, oh, rat, rat and snitching. The bottom lines right now, we stop talking about that. Let's come up with a solution. Let's come up with an action plan. How do we prevent these kids from getting caught up into that street life in the first place? How do we prevent them? Let's come up with an action plan. How do we prevent people from rat and snitching in the first place? If they do the right thing, if they follow rules and regulation guess what they don't have to worry about it but sit back and think about it if these kids cannot follow rules and regulation in their own household if they don't obey their moms their dad their grandparents their auntie their uncle their guardians if they don't obey their rules and regulation would you think they gonna go out there in the street and follow the federal city and, and, and local and state Rules and regulation. They already set up the fail. So the stuff that you're talking about, man, save it, man. Because once again, you sound like a professional idiot. And it don't make sense. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. I want you to hear for yourself. People got to understand you're in jail because God put you there. That's why you're in jail. Like, you're in jail because you didn't learn the lesson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and when you you stopping God lesson by telling by being a rat, you stopping God lesson by telling. He's teaching you a lesson by putting you there. What you have done, it might not mind me that be for that crime, it might might be for the crime they got you on, but you're in there for other things you have done in life. So that's why most of the time, how I feel, this is how I feel about situations. That's why most of the times when those snitches Whatever they do, they end up dying. Or deaths. They end up living horrible life. Some, I mean, like, you know, like, God don't sleep, bro. Like I said, the people who supporting rats don't give a fuck about children. Those children suffer when you rat on that fucking family and that daddy. That child grows up without a daddy. That child grows up without a mother. So anybody is supporting fucking rats, they don't give a fuck about a kid. Because that kid that that fuck the fuck all the convict who what he did, that kid suffers from not having his daddy or mama. That's what people forgot about with these rats. I tell you, I tell you, and you will leave that that fucking them, them five children in that motherfucking hood with nothing. 
You want to take their father from you got caught. When you get caught, it is called take your lick. God is you, you going there for a reason. Fuck if you ain't did that, you did something else. And that's how I go, bro. And they don't want to live to lead this lifestyle, you know. And that's why I think, you know, 90% of rappers are rats. They got a figure. They, they still got some solid motherfuckers, bro. But it's fucked up. Nigga ain't leaving that lifestyle, especially the, the bigger they get. Like, look at that, right? If, if y'all listen to that, that dude is a professional what? Idiot. You know, right now, is what he's trying to say is this, man. You know, here it is. You know, people rat and cooperate. They taking that, that, that father away from those five kids or whatever. No. No. Right now, what taking that father away from those five kids and him committing a crime? Him not getting up in the morning. And I'm saying, you know, right now, go on a punch a clock. That's what taking them away from those five kids. Right right now, I'm going to take this scene from, you know what I'm saying, Bronx Tale. When right now is Robert De Niro and his son. And basically right now is, here it is, you know, the son say, son, he was right. Son, he was right. The working man is a sucker. The working man is a sucker. And right now his son say, man, the dad told him, say, listen, son, you were wrong. The working man is not a sucker. You know, right now it's easy, right now, is to pull a trigger. But the bottom line, try getting up each and every morning, punching a clock. Let's see who's the real tough guy. And that's what we have to do is change people's mindset, change their behavior, change their attitude, and start valuing the right thing. When you give an ignorant individual like Boozy Badass a type of platform like this, and he's saying the stuff that he's saying, and you got some people buying into that, Right now, Wiz, guess what? Then they just as dummy as he is. Like I say, folks, listen, there's no shortcut in life. And crime doesn't pay. And like I said right now, I was once the problem. Now what I'm seeking to do is I'm trying to be part of the solution. I'm trying to right my wrong. I was once that sick, knucklehead, stupid individual out there doing everything from A to Z. And you know what? Like I told you, I don't care what anybody. I tell anybody they write for state of mind. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. The real Brian Grace gives one love.